I'm Carl Whitcomb, and I want to share with you information about climate, where plants grow, where they're adapted, and that general information that is useful to me as a horticulturist, plant scientist, and a plant breeder, and it may be of interest to you. There's a lot of speculation about climate, climate change. Well, climate is always changing. It's always going to be changing since the formation of the Earth, who knows when. <clears throat> this map is about, oh, a hundred years old, and yet I'm amazed at how accurate it still is. Sure, we have warming periods, we have cooling periods, it's just the normal swing of things in a continental climate. This map was made by the Germans. Originally the, the data collection began about 1850. It was first published in 1884, then lied dormant, but then at a period about 1918 to 1936, the German regime sent people out all over the world to collect data. When does it rain? All these other climatic conditions. And this map was assembled based upon that collection of data. If you look at this, it's called Climate of the Earth. I got this big version out of a rare bookshop in Berlin, and it has been especially useful. Here I am, for all of the last 50 years I've been working in this prairie climate, up here called BSK. Now the, the BSK code, if you look over here in the English side of the legend, B is arid zone, S is prairie climate, and K is cold, dry winters. Well, since if, if you take this map and consider, well, if are there other places in the world where I might look for plants that would be adapted to Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, the Dakotas, this prairie corridor? Well, you find a, a strip down here between Chile and Argentina. That's where we get pampas grass and it's very well adapted here. There's a small area of BSK down here in South Australia. And I've collected seeds from plants there, but they haven't been cold hardy. Of course, realize the scale is 1 to 16 million. So you have to allow for some variations here and there. But the area of BSK that matches where I am is China, north central China following along what was called the Amur River for years, extending along the north edge of the Great Gobi Desert into Russia and Shajakistan. We don't yet know much about that. But this area of China has been especially fruitful. Take plants from here, move them over here. They perform just like they were home because it's the same climate. Consider that this is about 45 degrees north latitude and extending across. So the length of the day the photo period change is the same or very similar. But the other factor that comes into play is the way the weather patterns prevail. In our case, we get cold periods coming down off of Siberia down the east side of the Rockies, and then that cold air mass is intercepted by warm air coming up here being supported by the Gulf Stream that strikes the east coast of Florida, and then that warming air mass circulates around England, Norway, Sweden, and back into the Siberian area. But then when it gets to Siberia, look what happens. It comes over here, 
comes down the east side of the Himalayas, where it's intercepted by the Japanese current, which is warm water, and is carried back toward Alaska and Canada. It's the same sequencing. Plants can adapt to a wide variety of, of circumstances. But this map has been especially useful in terms of providing what can I grow here, what can I work with that will be adapted to other areas. Some plants like crepe myrtle, when I first started 35 years ago, it was not known that they would grow in the tropics. They don't have to have a cold treatment even though they come from a cold climate. But that's just part of the adaptability of that particular species. So if you look this map up on the internet, do a search for Copen, K-O-P-P-E-N, Copen Geiger map, climate of the earth, you will find various other information about it and you may even find um, where you can print off a small version of it. But as a teaching tool and as a research aid, it has been especially helpful. So I thought you might be interested in that.